This is Cluj, the second largest city in Romania. It's a young and dynamic city with a big student population and stunning historical architecture. It is, however, not super famous among international travelers. Is Cluj, Romania worth visiting? Well, that's what I'm here to find out. We start our visit of Cluj on the main square here, which is called Piata Uniri, and the city basically stretches out from this square. So you have the old town and then you have the newer areas. Now the city of Cluj, or Cluj Napuka, which is the full name, but people just call it Cluj, doesn't have a million tourist attractions, but as you can see, it is a very pretty town all around. And then here we have the St. Michael's Church, so that is the first place that we're going to check out. Here we have a quote by Bill Clinton. And yeah, this is an exhibition about the US-Romania partnership because of course Romania is a NATO member and Romania also joined the EU in 2007. So this church right here is a Gothic Roman Catholic church and it was built in the 15th century. So let's go have a look. So I just went in there, not the most spectacular church I've ever seen, but yeah, still worth a visit if you are in Cluj. Here you can see all the terraces on the main square. It's actually a very young city, Cluj. It has a very sizable student population and it is home to the largest university in Romania. So I got here from Sigishwara the day before yesterday and then yesterday I just spent the whole day working. So now this is the first time that I'm actually walking the streets of Cluj and yeah it is a very beautiful looking town as you can see especially the center here everything is super historic and then of course on the outskirts you have some communist architecture but the center here is very pretty and very historic right I am now walking into the pedestrian zone here very pretty medieval structures and yeah you can see all the terraces and cafes but yeah it is still morning and pretty empty as you can see these streets actually become quite lively at night now, interesting thing about Cluj, this city has only been part of Romania for about a hundred years. Before that, it was part of Austria-Hungary and before that, the Kingdom of Hungary. It became part of the new country of Romania after World War I, but then there was an interruption when it was part of Hungary once again. And yes, yeah, since 1945, it has been part of Romania again. So yeah, that was a small pedestrian zone over there, but I'm gonna walk behind those buildings because I think it is a bit quieter over there. And yeah, I don't really have a plan for today. I just want to casually explore and see what I discover because as you can see, the weather is absolutely perfect. We have about 26 degrees Celsius and we are in late May and yeah, endless sunshine. Now, one very well-known place here in Cluj are the botanical gardens, which are apparently worth a visit. So I think that I'll head there. So the botanical gardens should be around here somewhere and there's a huge traffic jam on this street. Don't really know why, maybe because there are only two lanes. But yeah, I think that the entrance to the botanical gardens is over there. Let's go have a look. Just got myself a ticket for the botanical gardens here and it was 15 Romanian lei, which is about 3 euros. So yeah, pretty cheap. Now let's see what these botanical gardens have got to offer. So they were established in 1925 and apparently there are lots of exotic plant species here. Let's walk over here. There are so many school children in this park and here we have cactus and a garth, I think. Pretty cool. Looks like Mexico actually. Yeah, let's go over there. Oh wow, here we have a Japanese garden, I think. Yes, Japanese garden. Let's go check it out. So I think that there should be water in there, but there isn't. But yeah, this is supposed to be the Japanese garden. Pretty disappointing because there is no water. But yeah, let's continue. Let's see, what do we have on this side? Yeah, so this is the Japanese garden without water. Let's go check out these plants then. So there are lots of little pathways here inside the botanical gardens of Cluj in Romania. Let's walk up the stairs here. So yeah, I suppose that these are some plants from the Far East. But yeah, I am no expert when it comes to plants. 
I mean, it's a nice place for a walk, but so far I am not really impressed by this botanical garden. This might actually be the more interesting part. Let's see, so there is another greenhouse over there. Let's head in here. So yeah, this is one of the greenhouses here. Not bad, actually. We got this little pond here with fish inside and lots of different plants. I'm sure that if you are into plants, you will definitely like this kind of greenhouse here, but yeah, I don't know enough about plants to really tell you something. So that was the first greenhouse. Now let's check out the second one. Wow, this one is definitely bigger. And we have lots of tropical flowers here and palm trees. Let's see. So yeah, here we have all the tropical plants. Wow, this looks pretty cool actually. Like a tropical garden with this huge palm tree. All right, back in the center of Cluj now. And I'm gonna walk to the river because there might be a nice promenade there. So yeah, this is definitely a city that you visit for the atmosphere. It isn't really a tourist city. I can see that because there aren't that many tourists around. And also there just aren't that many famous attractions here. But as you can see, beautiful Austro-Hungarian architecture. Because of course this city was part of the Habsburg Empire for a very long time. And yeah, if you are coming to Transylvania, you probably want to see castles and mountains. And for that, Cluj isn't really the best base, because if you compare it to Brasov, the castles are way further away. Even though there are some smaller castles as well in the region here, and some canyons. But yeah, I would say that for Transylvania, Brasov is the better base. We are on a bridge now, and this is the river right here. And yeah, this isn't the prettiest river in the world. And there is no promenade. Maybe on the other side, I think I will have to go investigate. But yeah, it doesn't look like it. So the river isn't really set up for walking. Also, I need to walk into a street with less noise and less traffic. Let's see what we can find. So yeah, now we seem to be entering a quieter area. Let's see. There is some kind of park here that I wanted to check out. So it might actually be around here. Yeah, over there on the sign it says Parkul, and I'm not going to try to pronounce that name, but I will put it into the video. Anyways, let's go check out that park. I'm not sure if this park will be better than the botanical gardens, but it's listed as one of the tourist attractions here. So I guess we'll see. I will show you the place where I'm staying later. I am staying right in the center, and yeah, the prices here are very affordable, even though it wasn't as cheap here as in Brasov and Sigishwara, but that is because I booked two days in advance, as always. I'm always late, so that is why I don't always get the best deals. But yeah, I'll show you my accommodation later. Now I want to find this park. All right, we have been climbing for a while, so this park seems to be on a hill, and yeah, over there you can see the city, so we might have a nice view from the park. Overall, this is a very nice and clean city, especially the center here. And yeah, the economy of Cluj has been booming a bit because lots of companies came here in the last 15 years since Romania joined the EU. And here we have a communist hotel. I thought that I wouldn't see too many traces of the communist era here in the center of Cluj, but this hotel is definitely from that period because it is very brutalist. So behind these fences here you have a tower and in the past you were able to go up to the top and then you would have an amazing view over the city but that is no longer possible. No idea why but yeah. So the tower might actually be the main attraction here not the park itself because yeah the park frankly isn't that interesting. Okay so I think that this is actually the main part of the park because yeah, here you can at least see something. So this is actually the formerly communist hotel and it is called Hotel Belvedere. And if you have a room there, you can definitely have an amazing view over the city. All right, all right, all right. We got ourselves a viewpoint here. Now I can finally see the city from above. So this is the actual park, not the place where I was before. So yeah, I took quite a detour to get here. But anyways, this is a stunning view that we have here. 
So over there you can see St. Michael's Church, which is the one that we entered. And then there is another one over there and also an Orthodox Church in the background. And yeah, this is the city of Cluj-Napoca. Over here we have some kind of monument. Not sure what that's about, but it seems to be Christian. Anyways, I'm gonna walk back down into the city now. I have to say that I am a little bit tired at the moment because this is my last stop in Romania and I am at the end of a two-month trip. So I'm actually gonna head back home to Luxembourg in two days and then I'm gonna take a little break from traveling because yeah, I've been traveling for two months now and I'm just feeling like I need a break. Here we have the view of Cluj again. I mean, yeah, this is a pretty decent viewpoint here. So this park basically goes around the hill and then you can see the city. So yeah, I started round about two months ago in Frankfurt, Germany, and I then flew to Ljubljana, Slovenia, spent some time there, and then I went to Croatia, and then Bosnia and Herzegovina, and then I flew to Israel, and spent some time in Israel and Palestine, and then I've been in Romania for about two weeks and a half now. So yeah, I got two more days here, and then I'm gonna head back to Luxembourg, to my hometown. I'm gonna spend a few weeks there just editing and working, because the videos are really piling up now, I still got about seven videos to edit at the time of filming this one. So yeah, by the time you see this, I will actually be on my next trip because my next trip is already booked. So yeah, the adventures on the channel will continue and I don't think that there will be any sort of lag between the videos. But yeah, this is Cluj right here. A bit off topic, I just wanted to explain a bit more of the behind the scenes editing stuff because I often get comments from people asking me to go to place XYZ but the problem is that once you see the videos I am not in that place anymore. Right now the videos generally have a lag of about two weeks meaning that by the time you see this two weeks will have passed since I was here. So yeah, now I'm gonna walk back into the center and then I'll show you my apartment here in Cluj. Alright, back in the pedestrian zone now and it's funny how empty these streets are compared to the rest of Cluj. I guess it's because this is mostly a nightlife area. So yeah, lots of nice bars here in the pedestrian zone. And here we have a Jewish museum. And yeah, the original question was, is Cluj worth visiting? And I would say kind of. It's definitely not a must if you are in Transylvania. The other cities in the region here have more attractions and history, but spending a day or two in Cluj isn't a big mistake either because it is a very cool city for the vibe. All right, guys, quick room tour here in Cluj, Romania. This is the place that I got. And yeah, it is basically a room with a kitchen. We got one double bed here, and then we got another bed here, so you could have three people in here. And the kitchen is pretty well equipped. We got a coffee machine, made some coffee there, and the coffee is on the house, and then a fridge and a microwave and my laptop charging. Let's go check out the bathroom as well. Here it is, nothing fancy, but not too bad. And a little vanity setup here. And yeah, I got this apartment on booking.com for 40 euros a night. And that is not a bad price, especially since you could have three people in here. But yeah, I only booked it two days ago, so you can definitely find cheaper here in Cluj, Romania. So yeah, guys, that is it for this video and also from Romania. I hope that you enjoyed my Romania series. This is a really cool country to check out if you are in the region. And yeah, my next adventure is coming up relatively soon, so there won't be a big break in terms of uploading. But the next time you'll see me will be in a completely different country, somewhere far away. So yeah, guys, thanks very much for watching. And depending on where you are, have a good day, good afternoon, good evening or good night. And yeah, goodbye.